first is punta muna tayo sa email kasi nag-email sa atin si YouTube. Basahin lang natin tong hi there. We're reaching out because Google will be required to deduct US taxes from payment to creator outside of the US later this year. Basahin lang natin lahat 'yan, scroll down. Pag naabot na natin yung baba, so i-open na natin yung ating Google AdSense. So punta tayo sa Google Pag nakalagin na tayo, may makikita tayo dito um, notification. So, basahin lang din natin. Important check if additional tax information is required from you, all the all YouTube creator are, and partner are required to submit tax information to ensure any applicable taxes uh, on your payment are accurate. Okay, eh, lang natin. Tapos, makikita natin yung three line. Click lang natin yun. Hanapin natin ng payment. Click natin yung payment. So, ito na yung lalabas. Action required. All YouTube creator and partners submit your tax information to ensure any applicable taxes on your payment are accurate. So, i-click lang natin tong manage tax info. Yan. Tapos, ito yung makikita natin. Manage tax info. Provide or update your tax information, your payment profile, and country. Determine how your taxes are collected, withheld, and reported. So, tax, United States tax info. I-click lang natin yung add tax info. Tapos, syempre, mag-login tayo. Because they will make sure na ikaw talaga yung naglalag in at hindi iba. So, ito na yung lalabas. United States Tax. Yan. So, naka-individual tayo. So, nakalagay what type of account is yung sa akin nga. Individual. I-next natin. Are you citizen or resident of the United States? Of course, we are from Philippines, so no. Click natin yung next. Tapos, select W8 tax from type based on your previously selected answer. Uh, w8 from is needed. Yung first, this form is most commonly used by non-US individual and will also be used to claim task treatly benefits. Tapos, yung pangalawa naman is, this form is most commonly used by a non-US business entity or individual that earn income related to its US trade or business and files as a US income task return. So, nabibilang tayo doon sa una. Click natin yung una, tapos submit. I start hina yung aking net. So, ganito na yung lalabas niya. So, meron na tayo kagad name. At optional naman yung DBA. Tapos, ilagay natin syempre yung ating country. Click natin yung arrow. Hanapin natin yung magandang Philippines. Philippines. So, I got you. Sa so, dito naman, taxpayer identification number. A taxpayer identification number 10 is a tax processing number required by IRS for some tax form. For more about 10, for foreign 10 don't include any other foreign personal identification such a Korean resident registration number if you are claiming treatly you are required to provide a foreign teen. So, ang ilalagay natin dito sa foreign teen is ang ating SSS. Pwede naman kasi natin siyang ilagay. Kaya yun na lang. Kasi, wala tayong teen number. 
Lagay natin. Tapos yung USI TIN or SSN is optional din siya. So, pwede natin siyang hindi lagyan. I-next na natin. So, ito na nga. Yan. Address. Permanent residence address. Permanent residence address is a P.O. box or in care of address. You will be required to submit additional documents. So, i-click lang natin yung, i-check lang natin siya, Philippines. Tapos, ilagay natin yung address natin. Province of Manila. Yeah. Oh, pwede naman pala. Tax treaty. Are you claiming a re reduced rate of withholding under a treaty? Yes or no? So, ilalagay natin yes. I-click lang natin yung yes. Tapos, President Country Cleaning Treaty the US. Click din natin to. Tapos, select natin yung ating pinakamalaking Philippines. Lagay natin yung Philippines. Yan. Special rate and condition. You may be extended. Natin yung basahin yun. So, i-click natin yung service AdSense. Pagka-click natin, mayroong lalabas na article, article and paragraph. So, i-click natin. Yan. And zero rate. Tapos, i-check natin dito. At ganito na siya. Check natin tong Next. Lagay natin is article. Yan. Sunod ay 15% to reduce rate. Magpasensya nyo ng kapitbahay ko. Sadyang maingay lang sila. I'm for sure then may intindihan nyo naman tong tutorial ko. Tapos, reason. Check lang natin. Tapos, sa number 3 na tayo. Article 13. Tapos, reduce 15%. Tapos, check lang natin ulit. And then, next na tayo. Yung ganito niya, ang kailangan lang natin ay is check. I, con I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax document to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true, correct, and complete. Tapos, next. Ayan. Dito, isilalagay na natin yung ating pangalan. Pangalan. I-click natin yung yes. I am the person listed in this signature section and I'm completing this form on my own behalf. Tapos, next. Yes and no. Activities and service performed in the U.S. Has this individual or entity identified in the task identif identity section performed any acti activities and service for a Google within U.S.? So, no. Tapos, check lang natin. I certify that service provided at Google is its a facilities will be performed. Yan, ganyan. Basta basahin lang natin. And then, next. 
Are you providing tax, tax info for a new uh, or existing payment profile that hasn't received payment? or an existing payment profile that has previously received payments. One and two is I am providing task info for a new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payment. Number two, I am providing task info for an existing payment profile that ha that has previously received pay payment. So, sana pangalawa na tayo and then i-click lang natin siya then sa Submit. Optional din yung changes, ha? Submit na natin siya. Tapos, i-confirm natin. Submit new form. If you started a new form, you are previously submitted from will be removed. In red sa taas. And then, we're done.